This is the measuring cell of the particle charge detector. It contains a sample vessel and a displacement piston. Both items are made of PTFE. Two electrodes are seated in the cell wall. There is a narrow gap between the piston and the cell wall. If the piston moves up and down, a liquid is alternately squeezed from the lower section to the upper section of the vessel at a high flow rate. The colloidal dissolved matter adsorbs at the cell wall and the piston, while other, mainly bigger particles remain floating in the liquid. All these charged particles have attracted a diffuse layer of counter ions. When the piston moves downwards, the sample liquid is pushed upwards. Along with the liquid flow, counter ions are separated from the particle they surround. Then the piston moves upwards and the sample liquid is drawn downwards. Consequently, the counter ions are displaced in the direction of the flow. Any displacement of electric charge develops a potential. This potential induces a current, which is picked up by the two electrodes. The measuring instrument evaluates this current and displays it as streaming potential. The polarity of the potential indicates the nature of the charge of the adsorbed material. Sample particles that do not adsorb at the cell wall float along with the liquid flow. As they move in the same direction as their counter ions, the displacement of these counter ions relative to the particle is less intensive. The potential generated with non-adsorbed sample matter is generally low or non-existent. Interpreting the absolute value of the potential is questionable, since it depends mainly on the adsorption behaviour of the substance, but not on the charge quantity. The displacement of counter ions, and therefore the yield of potential generation, is way more efficient at an adsorbed particle than it is at a floating particle. Both of them might carry an identical charge, but they contribute differently to the sample's streaming potential. The height of the streaming potential has no direct correlation with the charge quantity. Only by titration can the charge content of a sample be quantified.